Hello everybody and welcome back to day 32 of 100 days of code and in this video we're not continuing with our blog um, so I think if you guys want the final bit of the blog I will do it but I think it's just the same stuff we've done in previous videos it was just going to basically bring a pop, pop up up and just ex uh, show off the rest of the body content so if you guys think you could do that go ahead do that send me screenshots that'd be awesome but if not then and you want me to actually finish it off then let me know but I feel like we've we've done everything think that is something you needed to learn which we haven't done before um, even that was a bit repetitive as well at points so I felt that is what I want to do I want to do something new in this video so we're not always doing the same things and we are still going to be doing a few JS but in this video we're going to be creating as you can't already tell a soundboard app so a little soundboard where you click each sound and you play each sound and we're going to be using routing because we haven't done that before and I thought it's useless um, like there's no reason for it in this app like we could just have a one page with different sounds but I, I thought that if we added it in I could show you how to use routing so as you can see we'll have three different pages and this draw what comes out um, which we did in the last blog post uh, and we'll be using Futify again that Futify is absolutely awesome it's basically like a bootstrap or it's actual thing it's material materialize uh, CSS framework um, which is awesome it, it comes in with loads of cool styles and it's uh, obviously built by Google so let's well Futify isn't built by Google sorry I mean uh, the Google material design is maintained by Google um, so anyway let's get on to the code so in our few JS soundboard um, in our in our root folder directory we're gonna write in here a few create and we're gonna call it soundboard app and we're going to hit enter and this is going to bring up stuff it's going to ask what we want to do and we're going to go manually select features and we're going to go down to root and we're going to hit spacebar to select router and then we're going to hit enter and then it's going to ask us do we want to use history mode for router and we're just going to hit enter to select yes um, ESLint with prevention yep and the rest can just be entered through uh, because we don't need the rest of that and now once this is done I will see you in the in VS Code Okay, by that is done. So right now we're gonna go code and actually, you know, before we do that, we're gonna write in here few add futify, and basically it's gonna install futify to our app for us. Oh my bad! Don't forget we have to cd into our uh, our few directory and then do few add uh, futify. And it's going to ask us what preset we're using. We're just going to hit the default recommended and then that will continue installing. Okay, by now that is installed, we can now finally go code and we're going to do dot to open up this directory in VS Code. And we're also going to run in here few, uh, no, npm run surf to start the dev development surfer for the soundboard app. And let's open this up in a full tab. Okay, guys. So in here we have our source, and we won't be. We don't need any files as usual. It's just we work from the source. Um, in assets, we don't need these logos. I'm not going to remove them for now, but we don't need them. Like if you saw our blog video, this is slightly different. And again, because we have router installed this time, it's even more different. So now we've got these different, we've got this fuse um, folder with two different fuses, the home and about few. Um, and if we just go over here and we go localhost 8080, there we go. And if we just open this up in there, um, and if we go here, we go forward slash Oh, wait one second. Because we installed Futify, it's slightly different way of doing it. Stars, let's open up that. Okay, now let's go into our our app.view. And where it says hello world, we're going to replace that with oh, few router. And we could just do that. Or route a few. There we go. It's route a few. Sorry, my bad. And now, if we refresh and we go forward slash about, that brings us to an about page, and then forward slash brings us to um, this default page, which is awesome. So that is how uh, route a few works. Um, I'm just going to convert my 
all my files into uh, tabs because it, I think it looks cleaner, especially for code. Okay, so that has been done. Next up, we want to actually just remove this toolbar up the top. We want to go down to our, want to go down to here and we just want to remove a few things. We want to remove the hello world component and we want to remove the hello world import. And now we're left with this basic, uh, basic stuff here. And in home, we're going to also convert our file. And in our home, we're going to get rid of this hello uh, view again component. And we're going to remove hello world from in here. And we're just going to quickly write in here a diff just so it's got a thing we'll say home. And then back in app.view, we're going to. Okay, so we've got our um, so we've got our basic stuff here. We want to create our our style. So in our thing, we have this header bar here, and we're going to start with that. So if we go for as you see, it just shows home. We need our toolbar, um, and if we create a new component, we could delete this hello world component. And if we create a new component and call it, oh, that's in the wrong spot, and we call it navbar.view. And we could say template, and then here we can go fee content or naf, and then we're going to do a fee toolbar there, and we're going to give this app and dark, and we're also going to say uh, class. Actually, you know, I'm not going to say anything yet, and we're just going to put in here toolbar. Let's have a look what happens when we come over here. Nothing. Oh, of course, nothing. We need to include this in our main app file. So we're going to go import navbar from, and we're going to say uh, at, com at slash components forward slash navbar, and that will do. And then in components, we're going to write navbar. And just above the fee content, we're going to write navbar so we're going to include it in there and there we go we've got our toolbar above there um, so that's cool but we want to uh, we want to go back into our navbar and we want to say app up we want to go fee toolbar side icon so these are all anything with fee hyphen by the way is a futify component and we use the components um, to we use their components as like basically to create elements on the page. And this view toolbar um, icon will give us this like the, the button for the draw. And then we want fee toolbar title. And we want to write in there span of soundboard and a span dot font weight light which says app and that's not how you spell light and we're actually going to do class of font weight black I hope that's a colour or heffy but we'll figure that out in a minute oh yeah so let's give me my inspector Font white black is a color, nice. So there we go, that's good. Um, and that is it for the toolbar for now. So we have our toolbar, we just need to create this draw. Um, and to do that, we're gonna go, we're gonna tap down to, we're gonna go fee navigation hyphen draw. And this is the draw for um, the side. So this is this draw here, what comes out when we click it. Um, in here, we're going to say it's Derby Dark Mode. It's going to be linked to the app. So this appends it to the app on the page when it's not inside of fee content so it doesn't get lost. Um, and we're going to say fee model is equal to is draw open. And then we're going to say actually, and then that will do that for there. And what this does here, the fee model, is it links it to a variable. And if this variable is false, that means the draw is closed. And if it is true, that means the draw is open. So if we go down to script and we're going to say name and we're going to say 
navbar and we're going to say data um, is equal to a return object and this is going to say is draw open and we're going to set it to true so we can show it off. So if we go back to, as you can see this is what it looks like where it's open, if I click that dark area it will disappear, slide back in, uh, which is good. Um, now we want to create a list in here, actually we want to set false first and then with the view toolbar side icon we're going to say we're going to say fee on click and we set that equal to is draw open is equal to not is draw open. So that just toggles uh, what this is. So this will say false and if you click it again it will say uh, true. Um, so if we go down here we can go fee hyphen list and inside this list we want to go fee list tile. And in this tile, we're going to say fee list tile action. And then we're going to say fee icon. And what fee icon does is it allows you to um, use like material icons. So if we go into main.js, not main.js, sorry, it is in plugins and futify. As you can see, we've got our icon font and we'll set it to MD, which stands for material design icon. So that will get us the material design. You can set this as FA for font awesome and stuff like that. You can read up on that on the futify website documentation. And in here, we're going to say home. So we're going to get an icon, which is called home. Um, and you can see all of the icons. So let's just have a look at this now while we wait. So if we load that, actually we've got the home icon. And we can see where all the icons are at material.io forward slash tools forward slash icons. And once this loads, as you can see, these are all the icons we can use. There's many loads for them. And like if we did grade, so we want to start, see this says grade underneath. So if we change this to grade and we go back to our soundboard app and we open it, as you can see, it's changed to a star, but we want home. And you can search for stuff. So you could say like um, people and you can have like nature people or you can have like social people, people outline, and you just write the, whatever it says there underneath is what you would use to write inside this feed icon and it will display that icon. Um, anyway, so back here, underneath feed list tile action, we're gonna say fee list tile content, oh, content. And this is gonna have a fee list tile title. Title, that, I don't know why that went dodgy. Um, and in here we're going to say home. And now if we go back and we hit the open, actually we've got home, but it doesn't do anything, which is kind of annoying, right? So we are going to set on the actual fee tile. So let's just hit some space so we can see a bit better. We're going to put in here fee on and we're going to say navigate. And we're going to set that equal to, oh, yeah, oh no, fee on click, sorry. And we're going to set that equal to navigate. And we're going to pass through a slash. That is the route we want to go to. Um, we're not going to set this up yet. This is actually the function which we do stuff. But now if we copy this and we paste it, we could say about. And if we write in here info, uh, it's an icon name. And we write in here about. And one more time, let's copy and paste this again. And we can say this one is equal to, I think the live help icon looks good. And we can call this support. And in here we can write support. So now if we go back and we hit refresh and we check in here, as you can see now, look when we hover on them, they've got this little highlight, um, which is really cool. Um, but as we click on them, there isn't actually anything. We probably, yeah, we'll get an error because navigate is not defined. Um, so if we go back into our uh, script and we go down here and we write in here methods and we return navigate, we set that equal to a function which takes a location and we could say, or we'll call this a root because it's a root, and we'll say this dot dollar router so this is a part of the router 
we um, installed when we set it up, we could go push and say root. So what this does is this will uh, take us to the root component. So inside router.js, as you can see, we've got these root and these paths. Uh, and this is lazy loading again. You don't need to know any of this. We could just remove that. Um, delete, delete, and have it like that. And we also want one more root here as well. Um, and that is really annoying. There we go. So I've saw that file, and this one is um, going to be equal to support, and this one's going to be in here, support. And here we're going to say support.few. And we are going to copy, inside view, we're going to copy the about, and we're going to paste it into fuse and rename it to support. Dot few and in here we're just gonna write this is a this is the support page for now and back to root and we can save so the roots are now set up um, support dot view that can also be closed navbar here we are so back to our navbar where we've got our navgate so this dot dollar router dot push basically stands for uh, that router which we just set up and this is going to take us to root so support would be our support route about will be our about route and slash will be our slash route and i think i already explained this but root a few is basically these fuse in here so this wherefore we write in here this template will be displayed in this root root a few and this is the bit which is being changed so if we go back here and we hit refresh and see we're at home so if we go here and we hit about this is an about page. If we hit here and go support, this is the support page. And again, if we hit home again, we're back to home. So guys, that is how routing works. That's quite simple. Uh, the navigation slash navbar side of things. So we can close this down now. Next up is the home view. This is the part we've been, um, we've been waiting to do. And in here, we're gonna write sounds. And basically we're gonna create a component inside of here called sounds.view and down here we're going to go import sounds from at component at components forward slash sounds and inside here we're going to write sounds and inside sounds we're going to write template and we're going to do a diff which says sounds so now if we go back, our home view says sounds. Um, and that is all we need to do for the few things. So now in the sounds component, uh, we want to say, do you want to go fee container? Again, another few to uh, layout component. And this goes a fee layout and then fee flex. And what fee flex is, is um, so fee flex is like basically the flex, what the fee let Fee layout is basically a flex box and fee flex is the flex box items. Um, and we're setting this to wrap so it means if these are flow they wrap underneath. We could say fee flex and we'll say excess four. And inside of here we're gonna say fee card. And we're gonna we're gonna put fee card text. And in fee context, we're going to fee icon again, and we're going to say this is equal to play arrow. And we're going to give this a class or a color equal to yellow. Um, and we're going to say x large. So what x large stands for on a fee icon means it's a large icon, an extra large icon, shall I say. Um, and underneath the icon, we're going to have a paragraph tag, which is going to say um, sound. So now if we come back to our sound app page, as you can see, um, this is what it looks like, um, which is pretty, pretty ugly, but it, it works. Um, and that is good for now. So, but we want to list out, so we want to get our sounds. So we have some sounds uh, we want to use and we need to go down to script. So we want to go script and we'll give this a name of sounds. And then we're going to say data, and we're going to return an object which is called sounds. And inside this sounds, it's going to be an array of different objects. And it's going to have a title, and it's going to say cow, because we've got a cow sound. And we're going to say the sound is equal to 
cal.mp3. So this is the name inside the directory and this is the type we want to display. Um, and we are going to copy this and then we're going to copy this a few more times. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to start from the top. So we're going to have a bell and we're going to call this bell.mp3. We're going to have a, an explosion and this is going to be explosion.mp3. Uh, a ambulance and I'm going to finish all of these up and we can see them at the end once I've done that. Okay so I've added all these sounds in. You could render these from a database sound but for now in this data this is fine. Uh, so we have a title and a sound for each one and we have nine of those. Um, and up here in our fee card or not our fee flex S4, XS4 we're going to say uh, we're going to use a fee for method and as you can tell we're going to say sound or we're going to do sound and index in sounds and we're going to say the key is equal to index and where we have a sound we're going to write in here sound or we're going to write yeah sound dot title so if we go back and we as you can see, we've got the sound.title. Uh, they look a bit squished right now, so uh, we should probably add a grid gap. And in the fee container, we want to give this a fluid, and we also want to say grid list, and we can say X or LG for a grid gap. And there we go, we've got a bit of a gap between all the elements. Um, if we click on these, though, they don't do anything, which we don't want. We want them to do stuff, right? So let's go back. Uh, we want to go on the fee card, we're going to say fee on click and we're going to set this equal to play and we're going to pass through the sound dot sound, so this sound for each one. So if we go down below um, the data and we go methods, we're going to set a one called play, it's going to be equal to function, it's going to bring through a a name we're going to call it because that is a name thing uh, and now to do this we've got to say let audio and we're going to say this is equal to new audio and we can't just put in the part oh we didn't put an equals to sorry so one thing we can't do we can't just write dot dot slash asset slash sound slash the sound name because that's not going to work to actually get files inside a few JS CLI we need to require them and we're going to write in here require we do at slash or uh, we did um, at slash at slash assets slash sounds forward slash and then we're going to add name to the end of that. Um, and then down here we're going to say audio.play. So right now we say let audio is equal to new audio require at assets sounds forward slash plus name. So if we come back and we have an error, what is our error? Uh, let's go to the console because it's easier to read if that... Oh guys, the reason we're getting this error is because we we haven't added in our um, our sounds into our um, folder so we need to I've got them on my clipboard so I'm just gonna hit paste in there and now we have our sounds so if we come back and we put this back to the uh, that view and we hit refresh now our sound should be working so let's try this let's hit uh, cow I hope you guys can hear that but a cow sound did just play. If you look up here, you should see a little sound icon ad. Okay, it did show the volume icon, that's my bad. Um, and look, we've got all these cool ones. That was a very long and annoying sound. I'm sorry I put you through that if I forget to cut that out. Hey, if we, little punch sound, thistle. So we can use all our sounds now. And that that is it. That is basically it for this this uh, tutorial. Uh, the next video, I believe, will be a um, a reiteration of our timer app. But our time so in our last timer app, we how do I put this? We used just vanilla JavaScript, and in this timer app, I want to use 
few JX, but I want to try and incorporate few X because we haven't done any few X yet. And I'm not sure all our projects are quite small and don't really need few X, but I feel like if we can find something that can you utilize few X, then that'd be awesome. Um, I don't think the time rep will utilize few X, but it's just a, just a suggestion. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's quite simple. It's quite basic, but the code will be up on GitHub. Um, so you could look in the description for that. We also have a discord, uh, so for that, if you guys want to join, hop on down below, hit that uh, link, Discord link, and come join us. We're a bunch of friendly people. Like just before I record this video, I was in a call with two other people from the chat, just talking about coding and different sort of things, like just coding life and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And again, leave me feedback in the comments or drop your feedback in our Discord channel. Come join us. All right. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.